Let us now create another director's flow, this time just a bit more complex. If you don't know what director's flows are, please check out the previous video for a quick intro there. In this video we are going to create a flow that will add a user to a newsletter list if they opt in for it. First let's create a new collection and call it newsletter list. Now let's add three simple input fields to it and call them first name, last name and email. In this collection we are going to save users that sign up to our app and opt in to receive the newsletter. Users that don't opt in will not be added to the collection. Save the collection and we are done with our newsletter list collection. In settings, data models, click on system collections and then click on direct us users. Create a new toggle field here and give it a name of newsletter. Set the default value to be enabled and save it. Now that we have our opt-in field set up, we can start creating our flow. Go to flows and create a new flow. We will call it newsletter flow. The description can be something like add user to newsletter list. Click the arrow so that we can set up our trigger. The trigger will be an event hook with a non-blocking action. The scope is of course items.create since we want to trigger this flow once the user has been created. Click on show 15 more and then select direct us users. Now click the check mark to save our trigger. The flow is going to have two operations. The first operation will check if the user chooses to opt in to our newsletter and then if they did we are going to create another operation that will add that user to the newsletter list collection. Easy peasy. Click the plus symbol to create the first operation and name it check newsletter opt-in. For the operation type we are going to choose condition and then in the condition rules box we are going to check in if the user has opted in using the following code. Here we are checking if the newsletter field that is coming from our trigger is equal to true. Now click the check mark to confirm this operation. You will notice that this operation has a check mark symbol and an X symbol on the bottom right side. When you click on the check mark you can chain another operation that will run if the condition that we created is true. And by clicking on the X symbol you can chain the operation that will run if the condition is false. For this flow we will only chain the operation if the condition is true, because if it is false then we don't want to do anything. So now click the check mark symbol on the bottom right of the operation box and we will create an operation that will add the user to our newsletter list collection. We will call this operation add user to newsletter list. For the operation type choose create data. For the collection we are of course going to select newsletter list. In the permissions field select the from trigger option. Now all we have to do is set our payload, meaning we have to send values for the three fields that we created for our newsletter list. First name, last name and email. We are going to get our data from the trigger again, so just add this simple bit of code in the payload input box. Click on the check mark to save the operation and then once again to save the flow. All that is left to do now is to test this flow out. Go to users and create a new user. I will name the user John Doe. Note that at the bottom of the page you will have the newsletter field, which should be enabled by default. If it's not, enable it. Save the user, now go to collections and select newsletter list collection to see if this worked. And as you can see user John Doe has been added to our list. Great. Now create another user. We will call this one Jane Doe, but for this one disable the newsletter field. Save it and go to collections one more time. And as you can see we still have John Doe in our newsletter list. This means our flow works since Jane didn't want to sign up for our newsletter. Before we conclude this video I just want to show you one more thing that can help you when you debug in your flows. You can always go to settings, flows and then select the flow you want to debug. Here on the right side of the screen you will notice the logs tab. If you click on it you will get some useful information about the flow, like options and what is especially useful payload for our trigger. So if something is not working you can always check the logs to see what might have gone wrong. Just know that this will only show up if you choose to track activity and logs when creating a flow. Also note that logs are going to be stored in the database so it would be good to clean them from time to time. Maybe you can even create a flow that will do that automatically for you. So anyway, this has been it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.